Well, we, we've mentioned the Waco Siege segment a few times now, and that's what we have queued up next. Um, and so Onlo, again, is visiting Waco to report on the ongoing siege of the Branch Davidian compound. Let's roll the clip. Davidian sect cult members are still holding up in their Waco compound. Our own Anlo Sepulveda went to the central Texas city to get the update. It all started last Sunday here in Waco, just down this road, when Davidian sect members refused to allow federal agents to search the premises. The result was a violent shootout leaving four federal agents dead. Waco television reporter John McLemore and his cameraman DC Malone followed a hunch which led them to the scene just as the raid begun. They shot video footage of the incident which has been shown by all three networks and CNN. They also drove the officers to safety in their news van. Reporter John McLemore tells his story. While the shooting was going on, there was one group that was pinned down, a group of agents pinned down behind this shed, and they asked us if we could get to our truck and uh, call for ambulances. So, you know, of course, I said, you know, no problem. Started running to the truck, and I started getting shot at, and I was thinking, hey, man, I'm with the media. I don't even have a gun, but who cares? So they were shooting at us, and I jumped in the truck. A couple of bullets ricocheted off the top of the truck. I just jumped in head first and said, man, now we're in trouble. Called my news director at KWTX and said, look, get all the ambulances you can get out here. This thing is uh, broken loose, and it is ugly. While McLemore was getting an ambulance, his cameraman, D.C. Malone, was getting video. First 10, 15 minutes, it was the job. Get the video, get the shots. That's why I'm there. But then you start starting to see uh, agents falling and getting killed and the news unit getting hit and bullets hitting, hitting the ground at your feet and flying over your head. You begin to think, now wait a minute, there's something more to this than the job. I have two small children and, and they're, they kept going through my mind. And for the first 45 minutes, it was just constant firing. You couldn't tell if it was coming or going. As of Monday, all authorities can do is wait it out. I'm on the support of reporting for the scope in Waco. Latest reports from children who have been released indicates up to 10 cult members are dead. Someone in the comments said that Anlo was the Anderson Cooper of the group. He wanted to be the Anderson <laughs> Cooper of the group. That's mm -hmm. absolutely mm -hmm. true. Mm -hmm. There's there's even another another broadcast that we have on the website where he's he's pretending to be Anderson Cooper covering like oh, right. a skirmish mm -hmm. between the French club and some other student organization. <laughs> um, but well, I found that truly incredible when I first saw that because that was that aired on the March 3rd, 1993 <clears throat> broadcast. So that was only three days after the standoff started. And, you know, it would go on for 51 days. Um, do either of so, you remember breaking, you know, covering this story? I, I remember you there? I, I mean, Rob, I know you have you have a point of view, but this is this is what I remember. And you can tell me if you remember this too. But mm -hmm. so here's the thing. That so there that we had TV we had our TVs, uh, you know, in every classroom. So we often actually would just have the news on or something on, on the TV anyway, because we, uh, and so I think this was all over the news that the day the standoff started. And so we come in, we come into class and we're, you know, the, I think scope was like one of the first classes or if not the first class of the day. And I remember standing there and we were watching the story and I'm with Anlo and Anlo, Anlo, and Anlo is kind of the more, the most, like, you know, uh, he, he's got a little bit of rebellion, but he's also like super brave or, you know, or just naive. And so he's always trying to go for the, you know, the big, you know, the most exciting thing or whatever. And I remember we were standing there watching this whole thing go down and there's all these ATF trucks and there's a big standoff. And I turned, I remember turning to Anlo and going, you know, Wake House on only an hour and a half away. And I remember <laughs> Rob said, if you guys are taught are thinking about skipping school to drive to Waco to do this story, I do not condone it. But here are the st here are the questions that you should ask. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I hope I don't ever need another teaching job in my life. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I, that, I mean, that sounds right. I remember all of us getting pretty excited about the notion of having a student a high school student news show getting real coverage of that. Um, it was just an exciting challenge. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and so... No, go ahead, yet. 
Oh, I will, I will. I will get into how we got in there and did the whole story if you want me to. Oh yeah, sure. I, mean, I really like the angle that you took. That it's you know it's a, it's about the standoff, but it's also you know from the perspective of the other news people that are there covering it. Yeah, you know, yeah. Maybe so, maybe because they were easier to talk to than an ETF agent, I assume. But right, um. right. <laughs> but you know, we we drove to Waco. We didn't even Alma and I had no idea where it was. We didn't even know where we were going. But we just drove to Waco, and uh, we kind of just followed like a you know a bunch of cars and we just saw over here and uh you know oh there's a bunch of cars going that way and we saw some newsman so we saw and there was like a there was a cop there were a sheriff or whatever who was like stopping everyone and letting people through or not and so we drive up in my little red crx and roll down the window and we hand him our reagan media that fact <laughs> <laughs> and he's like looks at it, he's like reagan media what's this and we're like, we're like we, we do high school news. We cover the news for high schools. And he's like, high school? I don't want any teenagers getting all shot up around here. And he starts looking around. He's looking at the car. And he gives it back. And, back. and then he's like, all right, keep your head down. And then he like waved what? us through. <laughs> and so we just like drove through. And we like parked right next to those big news vans and all this stuff. And then um, we... The thing is, is that the, that those news news people who got interviewed, they were already being interviewed by CNN, mm. and so we were standing there and we were just like, "Hey, can we talk to you next?" And they're and they're just like looking at us like, "Okay," <laughs> and so and so we just like, you know, we just interviewed whoever you know the real people were interviewing. Yeah. And you so got that, your brain in microphone. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so we just got in there and did it, and they were just like, "Okay, there's these kids interviewing us on these v VHS." recorders but okay whatever and they just like and then i don't even think we even asked really good questions or anything they just but they were they were from the news so they just gave us all the sound bites we ever needed mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah yeah watch that i was just like i don't i don't think that this would happen anymore i was like the, the special <laughs> permissions from the school that would have been required <laughs> to get Rob would have been kicked to the curb yeah. <laughs> for, for letting you go to Waco to an active standoff with federal agents um yeah but well but i'd be proud to go out that way if, if that's if that's how yeah. my career ended badge of honor mm -hmm. and someone um was commenting like wondering if there's other coverage of that event that's easily accessible and you know speaking from tammy's collection we don't have a lot of like waco siege footage so this is like, so, so, and we, we don't have a lot of the footage from the yogurt shop case either. Um, so it's like, you know, scope, scope is filling some gaps right. in the Tammy collection too.